folks, it's Rick. Welcome to the elephant in the room. We were in DC this week for a couple of days. We had um, a bunch of fundraising stuff to do for the final push. We had uh, a team meeting and to, to, for the final push. And we had a, I had a speech last night with Molly Jong Fast. It was great. We had a good time uh, talking about the pro-democracy movement. And we're in DC and that sort of led me to a moment today where after reading the entire filing that came out in the Jack Smith case, I realized that the place I'm standing right now, the, the place I'm standing at this very moment in front of the US Capitol was a battleground on January 6, 2021. This was a combat zone that day. It was a combat zone because Donald Trump sent a terrorist attack of his mob up the mall to this building, to these steps. You can't really see it anymore because the security fences that have been put up after that day have made this building something very different. But the criminal conspiracy that led those people here to attack this building was brought out into plain sight once again this week in this filing in the, for, by Jack Smith. And that filing and that discussion and that conspiracy is the elephant in the room. So this was a battlefield right here. This was where Donald Trump and his people dispatched their, and look, I call it a terrorist attack because there have been in our lifetimes two planned terrorist attacks on this building. Osama bin Laden planned one on 9-11 and failed due to the bravery of the people on Flight 93. The terrorist attack that happened here on January 6, 2021 was planned from the White House not from a cave in Afghanistan, not from a, a, some, a Abbottabad, Pakistan. It was planned right down the street, right down Pennsylvania Avenue at 1600, where Donald Trump decided and his conspirators decided they were going to overthrow an election. They were going to do it by violence and force if they couldn't win it in court. And when they lost it in court, they went to Plan B, and Plan B happened right here. Plan B happened right here, where people put a gibbet on this lawn and started chanting, hang Mike Pence, because Trump was tweeting, Mike Pence lacked the courage. Right here, this is a battlefield. Bring out Pence! Bring out Pence! Bring out Pence! And it's shameful. It's something that has turned this building into something of an armed camp. There was a time when, when I started working in Washington, I know it was a long time ago, there was a time up until 2021 where civilians, where Americans could walk in this building. They could see their representatives, they could talk to their senators. Now, as you can see, it is surrounded by security barriers. These barriers came to you courtesy of Donald Trump and his criminal conspiracy. This building is a sacred temple of American democracy. This temple, uh, that, that for for 100 years, 150 years since it was finished after the Civil War has been something that Americans looked at with pride. And there's a group of Americans now who look at this building and say, it's occupied by people we hate. There's a group of Americans that look at this building and say, the enemy is inside. And those folks are profoundly anti-small D democratic. This isn't about partisan or policy debates or any of that sort of thing. This is about people who have forgotten and given up on the American dream and the American system. It's unforgivable, honestly.